Each foot of an elephant has a circular cross section with a circumference that is huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, this elephant has a mass of 5400 kg. Mm. I guess this is how elephant feet look like. They have uh, nails, I guess, like this. Okay. Uh, the elephant is standing still with all four feet. That's an important thing. Four feet on the ground. Assume the pressure under each foot is the same. Evenly distributed. So what is this approximate pressure exerted on the ground by each of the f elephant's feet? You, <laughs> you gotta think of what's the equation for pressure to start off with. So pressure equals to the force acting on that small area. So in our case, what is the force? The force is going to be the elephant's weight. Because, you know, if I draw... Man, how do I draw an elephant? One, two, three, four, I guess. Oh my, okay. Well, yeah, this pretend this is an elephant. So the <laughs> elephant has a, a mass, right? 5400 kg. That's going to be related to the weight. So we got to write that in. So why not, let's do a calculation here. 4, it's not 4, 5400 zero, zero, times 9.81. That's the weight. Then the cross-section area. So this elephant has 4 feet. Each feet got a certain area with a circumference. Um, how do you find circum? How do you find area from circumference? Circumference is two pi r, right? That's how you find it. Or, or the other way is take pi d. Ah, I think we need to find a diameter. Okay, let's do that. So if pi d is equal to one point four, d is just one point four over m. Yeah, let's use that. So area, there's four legs. So we're going to take four times area. Um, area, we're going to do pi, pi, d, pi d squared over Pi r squared or pi d squared over four. Okay, sure. Let's, let's do radius. <laughs> radius will be 0 0.7 over pi. What did I write m? What am I doing? So here will be pi r squared. That's my area, area, area. Area equals to pi r square or pi d square over 4, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to do pi and r square. What do we get? 84909 pascals. If I write it in standard form, that will be 8. 0.5 times 10 to the wait a second 8 okay let's let's do okay since all the answers are in kilopascals let's do 8 uh, times to the power 3 so this will be 85 times 10 to the power 3 pascals otherwise known as 85 kilopascals so the best choice we can choose for the pressure on each elephant's foot is a whooping 85 kilopascals don't get stepped on by an elephant it's gonna hurt real bad Okay, well that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.